I'm gonna take a look at BBM beta app on Windows Phone. Just got released today, and if you're a registered uh, beta tester, you can download it from the Windows Store. Let's take a look as you can see. First of all, there is no uh, live transparent live tile, so it's a solid uh, tile on there. So going in, nice splash screen, pretty fast. Uh, you can see all your contacts, active chats you're in, your feeds, your contacts list here, groups, and back to chat. So, so it's been designed for the whole metro look and feel. So I go into settings. You can see uh, your different settings you can adjust you can show country time uh, find friends on bbm and your blackberry ids right there notifications you can choose to use vibrate on or off uh, you can turn off all notifications so kind of like quiet time you can just turn it off maybe trying to go to sleep you can vibrate on ping there is lifetime notifications enabled and push notifications too. And you can also set uh, BBM as your lock screen. So you can choose it from here. I do not think that has been enabled yet, that feature. So go back here. You can see you can automatically record voice notes, show display pictures in chat. You can turn all this on or off. Save chat history. Uh, for contacts, you can choose to have your location on or off. You can block contacts or feeds. A security question. I don't know what that means, but. So, let's look there. And this is your version we have. You can report a problem. This is a beta version, so we are required to report like a bug or something in the uh, application. Let's go back here. So in your groups, you can see a nice uh, metro feel to it. You have chats, lists, pictures, events. Uh, you can choose to pin the group to your start screen. You can invite users or you can sign your chat. You can see the group profile, group settings, or you can even leave the group. So it's a fully functional uh, group there. You can see your contact list. You can choose to uh, create a new group, add a contact. You can search for contacts. You can multi-select right there. So you can choose multiple people. You can just click on start a new chat or you can broadcast to specific contacts or you can move to a different category. I'll show you in a minute how to create a category here. So to create a category, you can see add category and I have contacts, you can see family. So you can, for instance, add takes a while to load you can add someone to family so you can do that and you can just say move you can move that person to family up there and it's added right there so that's enabled you can see your different chat sections here and your feed so it is there is no bbm voice a lot of settings are missing but um it, for a first version of the app, it is pretty stable. I haven't had any problems just yet, but uh, oh, there you can see your own profile. You can see um, your BBM pin. You can share your pin. You can copy it. You can change your status message. You can see your feeds here. So it's all, I love how it has that whole Windows Metro feel to it. Um, this is a beta version, so it will get better months within the coming months, but this is just the first release, so expect uh, be better things to come. So there you have it. You can change your profile pic. You can 
take a picture, sample photos. So these are pictures that came with the application you can use. But all in all, it is a nice application. You can try it out. Um, and yeah, that's a quick look at BBM on Lumia 1020 Windows Phone. Um, a full release should be coming probably in the coming weeks or in about a month. I'm not sure. But the more bugs we report, and it's more stable and it will get released. So that is it for BBM on Windows Phone.